Hello. Uh, I want to, I don't know where to begin on this. I've been procrastinating about starting a YouTube vlog for a long time now and I'm just sitting here this evening and I've just mustered up the courage with absolutely zero makeup and oil in my hair but sometimes you just have to start and it doesn't matter what way you look or um anyway my name is Juliette Murphy I am from a small town in Ireland called Clarny it is very beautiful here it is um of i suppose one of the main a attractions in ireland it would be one of the most commonly um sought after for tourists and it's based in it's placed i should say in a county called kerry in the south part it's the most southern part of ireland and kerry in general is very scenic and you've the wild atlantic way and all of that it's like i'm working for tourism ireland now which i do not but i just want to give you a quick background my french bulldog i'll introduce him but he's crying here and <laughs> snorting away but i just want to start i suppose to let you know who i am what I do and I suppose where I kind of want my channel to go um, on YouTube. So really, um, I, I suppose the main thing I really wanted to start was like to show um, how diverse uh, some people's lives can be. And um, you don't have to do one soul thing in life um you can master different careers and um different just different paths in life and sometimes you can actually bring them together and i suppose from my experience and stuff i just want to let others know that it is possible and it's not that i'm doing anything major or anything like that now but um yeah i just want i suppose I think just tell a bit of my own story and maybe someone else can take um what they will from it and it might give someone courage um to go back to college and study so basically i'll start because this sounds ridiculous i when i left school which is secondary school in ireland i left school and i continued my studies to do social care, which is social studies in um, Trilly IT. And that led me on to working in intellectual disability sector with adults. And I really, I suppose, worked in challenging behavior for the last 10 years and um, people with autism and all different disorders and um needs i've worked in the children's sector as well but mainly the adults and um i absolutely love it i really do um i always knew growing up when i was small that i wanted to do something to help others and whatever way i could i didn't know whether that was i i suppose when I was younger, I really wanted to actually work with kids and work with children mainly. Um, but it's just funny the way life goes. And I never, ever thought of working in the intellectual disability sector. So, um, and I'm in it now for over, God, it's like 12, 12 or 13 years now. So um yeah it's it's just gas the way some some things in life you you have planned out in your head and you just end up in the direct opposite thing so i did that but i always always had a massive passion for makeup uh growing up also i loved makeup um i'll never forget the first time um i think i was like 15 and my mom 
um, wrapped up a shoe box for Christmas and she had um, a load of MAC products in it, which was like MAC was massive and it was like the only real big, big brand at the time. And um, I'll just never forget the excitement that morning of, I thought I was getting a pair of shoes and which I would have been obviously grateful for anyway, but um, I'll just, I just never forget opening that box and seeing all the different bits and bobs of makeup in that box. It was just so special and I was surrounded by a lot of women in my life and um, uh, they were all really into like style and hair and makeup and I suppose that was fed my interest even more as well and um, I just always loved doing makeup, doing other people's makeup and playing and being artistic with makeup and trying new things out when um when any, when any new product would come out or be launched um i would love to have it and have my hands on it to test it to see what it how would it wear and was it good and whatever so um i always had that kind of like i suppose gnawing away at me when i was working in intellectual disability that I just really wanted to do makeup in some shape or form while working as well in intellectual disability. So I actually joined an academy in Dublin. It's She's very, very well known now. She's absolutely massive. It's sculpted by Amy and she had the Sculpted Academy and I joined that and um, I went up every whole Sunday, uh, up and down from Kerry up to Dublin, up and down and did that for the bones of a year and I got my, um, qualification in a makeup artistry and I was just so happy that I did it. I had the best time, um, learning just all about all things makeup, all things skin. And again, being in a setting, I suppose, with others that love makeup and being able to chat about different products and what they use and um, like just being able to do um, different styles of makeup. Um, it was just brilliant. It was absolutely a brilliant, brilliant experience and I, I'm so so glad that I actually went and did um, the course for myself and I then start like I always did people did like family and friends makeups for occasions and things but I never had an Instagram page or any like a Facebook page or anything like that and eventually I like Today I mustered up the courage and I started up Makeup by Juliet. So I started that a couple of years back now and um, it's just grown strength to strength and I'm so proud of it because I suppose during Covid, which was a very, very difficult time for everyone, um, like I, I just sat in my bedroom recording different makeup looks and reels for my Instagram page. And I think it really grew from that more so than even um just coming on. Like I literally was just doing makeup looks and my following just kind of grew from there. And once everything started to like ease and open up again, um, the bookings just started to come in and yeah it's just great i i love it um i i got so busy i had to cut down my time in my full-time job and do um 19 and a half hours so like two days a week and keep doing um basically doing makeup solely on the weekend and um working a day or two in my other job um at the beginning of the week 
so I that's just I suppose a bit about me to begin with um I yeah I, I suppose like it's it's hard to juggle everything um all of the time but in other ways like I I love both my jobs um at the moment I'm after I'm actually after taking a career break from my other job but I will be doing like agency work which is you can kind of pick and choose your hours it's got it's just because I'm so busy in for my own business at the moment um I can't really be on a set roster in my own job but like I suppose the thing is here is that I feel like there's so many people I speak to when I'm working either in behind like in my um working with people with intellectual disability the staff that work with me or people that I meet when I'm doing makeup and so many people are feel like I think that they're just stuck in one place and that's it and there's no like there's no other career path or there's no other way of um like changing changing that and being able to change that which there is um there is always a way and it's not I think the biggest which like if you listen to any motivational speaker um it's making the decision is the hardest part and once you've made up your mind that you are going to do something you won't regret it and like as motivational if you do regret it so what that's life it's learning you you learn from it and you'll move forward um but that's just a bit about me um in my career side of things and um, i've a little french bulldog with my boyfriend um we built a one bed apartment last year um we started it about this time last year and we moved in the end of august and i'll do like a tour of the apartment it's just it's fairly dark um and gloomy this evening so i'll do it another evening when it's a bit brighter and nicer and uh, we're actually currently like doing raised flower beds outside it now at the moment and um just like steps up and we want to pour concrete out the back and things um because we the plan is is that this is going to become an airbnb because we have the main house which is like going to be another project and um yeah my focus is to bring you along on my own journey i suppose and um like that i just love following people i i follow so many people on youtube and i move with them throughout their life and the different stages of their life and i really like to watch like people grow i suppose and like what they're doing um and there are certain points in life you're going to be way more interested in because you may be doing that yourself you may be buying a house you may be getting married you may be having a baby all those big milestones in life um so i yeah i i suppose i i just really would like um to again in another way use my platform to help others in any way shape or form i that i can do and um bring you along my journey with me